biggest draw in the boxing world, Saul Canelo Alvarez, and his next opponent, WBO light heavyweight champion Sergey Crusher Kovalev, held a press conference recently to discuss their upcoming fight. Canelo is moving up two divisions and 15 pounds to face the Russian champ. A bold move for a fighter who could make millions fighting a piece of wet paper. As a result, there was a lot of love in the room. I'm really like, uh, thinks that, that uh, this is a very big test for me in my boxing career because uh, this is one, one, of the, uh, one of the best fighter in the world uh, in boxing right now. The two met back in 2012, and the fight negotiations seem to have done nothing to dampen the mutual respect. I'm very motivated. It's an honor for me to share the ring with a fighter like Kovalev, who I met in 2012. To cap it all off, Kovalev even convinced the Mexican superstar to pose for a quick selfie after the stare downs. Things will no doubt get a lot less friendly when the bell rings at the MGM Grand Garden Arena on November 2nd. In the UFC, a surprisingly action-packed night at Fight Night 159 has ended in controversy. Local favorite Yair Rodriguez scraped Jeremy Stevens' eye only seconds into the main event, and the bout was declared a no contest. Enraged Mexican fans then proceeded to shower drinks and snacks onto the octagon in frustration, causing commentator Brendan Fitzgerald to take shelter under a table. Despite the poor crowd behavior, Fitzgerald was professional enough to see the humorous side of his less than courageous actions. And the silliest title in MMA has gained some unnecessary credibility as UFC President Dana White has told press that the bad mother belt that Jorge Masvidal and Nate Diaz were ostensibly fighting for at UFC 244 is actually being made. According to White, the BMF belt will cost around $50,000 to make and will be presented to the winner by Dwayne The Rock Johnson. He's taking my job, White joked of DTRJ. Listen. If The Rock wants to do it, The Rock gets what The Rock wants. Despite the disappointment of the main event of UFC Fight Night 159, there was still plenty of action to be had. Carla Esparza versus Alexa Grasso won a tough choice for Fight of the Night, while Steven Peterson's KO and Paul Craig's choke both earned them 50 grand. Thanks for watching, and remember, if you want more fight sports in your life, just hit the subscribe button.